So we're done with our little brick here. Go to the Save Views menu and choose three glow and backlit shaders. That'll bring us in and we'll focus in on this lighting fixture here we've got. Now this is a symbol. So we won't be able to edit the texturing directly here in this mode. We'll have to edit the symbol in order to get at the guts of the object. But the first thing I want to show you is this is pre-configured. There's a light inside here, then a light bulb, then the actual glass around the fixture. Go ahead and render this in that same custom render works mode we used before. There we are. And see that glow that we're getting there? That glow is coming from a light object inside this light bulb geometry. And we're going to explain how that works in a moment. Set this back to OpenGL. And now, in the resource browser, go ahead and hold Alt and just collapse all of these here. Open up Symbol Folders. Double-click the Sconces folder. And inside the Sconces folder, the first symbol here, the V10.5 Candelabra. And edit the 3D component of that symbol. If we zoom in, we'll see there's our light object, and there's the geometry. We'll line this up a little bit better there. There we are. Now, if we render this in OpenGL, it's solid. This is not. This is a solid texture. This isn't transparent. So, how is that light getting through it when we render in that custom renderworks mode? We can also check to see that is edit the custom renderworks mode. Go to Options for Other Modes and edit the custom RenderWorks options. And just disable textures and click OK. Then render in that custom RenderWorks mode again. You can see the light show up for a second. And you'll see here as well, there's no lighting. It just stays dark. That's just solid. So it's the textures that's doing the work in this. Go ahead and edit the custom RenderWorks options again. And turn textures back on. See very clearly that light's coming right through it. But it's sort of getting dense as it goes down here. How's it doing that? That's called a backlit texture. So we'll select the bulb, and in the render tab, we'll check which texture it's using. Lamp Material RT. Now we could go hunt this down, but we're already in a symbol folder in here in the resource browser. So rather than hunting it down, next to the texture choice, we can click this drop down menu, and we can choose to edit that resource, which is to edit that texture directly. And you can see here, we get a little preview of it. So this is by default set to update when the values change. So if we change these values here on the side, they'll update this preview right away. So in here for reflectivity, you'll see we're set to backlit. If we turn this back to none, there we are, and the light is now trapped inside a solid object. That's what the backlit reflectivity did. It allowed that light to glow through this texture and behave that way. But there's another way to do this, and that's glow. We want to make this whole bulb object actually glow. We don't want to use a light object, for instance. We'll just make this texture itself glow. So the reflectivity, set that back to none. And then we can set the reflectivity to glow. You see now that this whole light bulb object, it's now emitting light actually on its own. So we'll click OK to that. We'll exit the symbol. Now we're back in OpenGL. Now, we'll go to the window menu and palettes. And just to prove it, we'll turn off every light in this document. Turn all these lights off. There's no light going on now. So there's no actual light objects. Collapse the viz palette. And since we have a white background here, uh, that'll be a little too reflective on this glass front here. We'll go into the navigation palette and turn off the devices, the electrical devices class. That'll get rid of that panel in the front. And now, we render in custom render works again. There you are. You can see the whole thing is actually glowing with no lights actually turned on. So we can make light with no light objects if we want. And that'll do it for this quick primer on backlit and glow textures.